Hello everyone and welcome to game two in this series between Sonic and Zov here on Turtle Rock. And I'll go ahead and start the game for you guys. We see Sonic spawning as the teal Night Elf player over here at what I'll call the 4 o'clock position. Meanwhile, on the other side we have Zaz spawning as the yellow Night Elf. So yellow versus teal. And we'll see what strategy Zaz tries to go for this time around. <clears throat> In game one, he had tried to go for a very he had tried to go for Priestess of the Moon and um, hunters or huntresses and those huntresses and did really well early on but a one round of mercenary creeps coming in from sonic and he was sonic was able to push it back and ultimately carry that lead um throughout the rest of the game now we'll see how zaz is going to try to respond in this matchup as you now see that the wisp is moving across the map and i guess it's trying to find figure out where his opponent has started now what you can do is that you can perhaps try to do some sort of cheese tactic. Yes, one of the observers letting me know that yes, there is some sort of cheese. What you can try to do is you can try to use this wisp and then set up a building down over here and have that wisp start fighting and dealing damage. So no, he's just going to have it set off over here. So rather interesting that he actually ha is hiding a wisp in plain sight. So hiding a wisp in plain sight right now. This wisp just hiding off over here. Meanwhile, we are getting another Priestess of the Moon. Zaz is going for the Hunter's Hall once more, followed by the Ancient of Wars. As you now see that the Ancient of War is currently picked up. And what is this wisp going to do? Not 100% sure. Perhaps try to build off an Ancient of War down over here or get a little bit of sight on exactly what is happening. Archer. Uh, actually, the Ancient of War is just attacking and no Archer has joined in on the fight yet. That's rather interesting. No Archer was ever trained. So the Demon Hunter is going to be creeping alongside this one, Ancient of War. And that is it. As you now see an Ancient of War being placed down over here. So the Ancient of War, and I do not know the build time on the Ancient of War. As the Priestess of the Moon gets off one easy shot onto that Ancient of War there. There's also an Ancient of War here. So it is going to be a little bit of cheese tactic coming in from Sonic. As the Demon Hunter gets a Slippers of Agility plus 3. Very nicely done. But I do not know if Sonic knows about this one Ancient of War over here either. No, he does know about it. He's going to come in and try to take it down. It looks like this one Ancient of War will just get cancelled. As the Priestess of the Moon is now going to make her way over and get some easy damage there. It looks like this Ancient of War also going to take a bit of damage as well. As Mana Burn may be coming in. Ancient of War getting in the way. There's the Mana Burn. As the Priestess of the Moon did get True Shot Aura first. This one Ancient of War is about to be completed. There's another Ancient of War here. Both sides are just going to start beating on each other. And so yeah, and talk about a mirror fight. One Ancient of War beating up on another Ancient of War. Um, the It looks like he will be able to get in a couple quick hits. And now Zaz is going to be forced to pick up that Ancient of War and walk its way over. Priestess of the Moon now moving in. And both sides are going in for Huntresses. Ancient of War set up and rooted over here. However, it may get trapped if another Moonwell is placed down. This is going to be absolutely a nightmare for Zaz as Zaz is going to try to deal some damage and perhaps try to intercept some of these wisps but they are going to hide out in this one entangled gold mine meanwhile the demon hunter coming back over here and Sonic eating his way into his opponent's base but after going through these trees so the demon hunter will be able to sneak by Sonic now going to be waiting for that very slow moving tree all of the wisps trying to move away and what a brilliant move by Sonic eating his way into his opponent's base and now going to start going after these moon wells and all of these important buildings in the back. You can see a moon well could still be placed down here. Not quite sure what um, Sonic is doing there as the Priestess of the Moon is just walking around. Tree of Ages is up and Huntress is now going to start fight, trying to fight back against Zaz here. Back in this base, it looks like the, the Tree of Ages needs to be repaired. It's getting double beat down right now by the Ancient of War and also this Demon Hunter who needs an army when your buildings can fight for you. Zaz right now just trying to go toe to toe against a Huntress but the Huntresses should be able to win out on this fight but we may get a little bit of Glaive Worm bounce damage. Oh that is not the way you want that Glaive Worm to bounce. Um, never quite understood how Glaive Worm bounces work but this Priestess of the Moon is going to have a bit of trouble as Huntresses are now trying to come in. The Tree of Ages is about uh, what two thirds of the way complete and this one poor wisp may get taken down the wisp needs to sneak down a little bit further oh uh, it does get taken down and now sitting at level two the looks like the moon well was destroyed there it is going to be huntress versus huntresses one is blocking the padding and oh a wisp able to pull itself out there just in time 
Still, if you take a look in the base, Zaz is in a bit of trouble. He needs to try to repair this one Tree of Ages as much as possible. Three Wisp currently trying to repair right now. And it looks like that Demon Hunter will be able to finish this off. And what is going to happen here? It looks like a Huntress is going to try to sit off over here. And the Demon Hunter is going to have a bit of a problem. He is currently stuck in the backside of the base. Another Wisp does get destroyed. So all of Zaz's Wisps have been destroyed except for one off in the back over there. This is not looking good. More Wisps now coming over. So the Wisp desperately trying to repair this one Tree of Ages. It looks like the Tree of Ages is going to start attacking back. This Ancient of War will be left behind. And I'm really not sure who has the advantage. I would say that the Demon Hunter has the advantage right now. Um, and Sonic has the advantage just because he is level 2. But that's not much of an advantage when you when you ultimately think about it. You can see that this Ancient of War is going to feed some experience. Oh no, this Ancient of War actually got the final hit. Zaz not, um, not keeping track of his units. He purposely was trying to train Wisp to prevent the Tree of Ages to get the final hit. But then again, the Ancient of War got the final hit. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of Huntresses now try to push in over here. A lot of Wisps and now a Fire Lord coming in from Sonic. This is looking very, very impressive for as Zaz does not have time to go and pick up his Tavern Hero. Demon Hunter with Huntresses. Ancient of the Winds trying to be established, but this is going to be too much as those Lava Spawns are going to be able to just tear apart all of those Huntresses as they are going to be able to split rather quickly. You can now see Sonic also establishing some Ancient of Protectors and doing a bit of cheese here on Turtle Rock. The Fire Spawn going to start splitting though. The Huntress is trying to run away. Another Fire Spawn has been laid down. The Fire Lord essentially out of mana already. Trying to take down all of these Ancient of Protectors. That, um, what Lava Spawns have their work cut out for them. One Ancient of Wind over here. As both sides are still fighting it out. What is Zaz going to try to do? Zaz going to try to pick up a Tavern Hero of his own most likely. No, just simply running by. You can see that in the base Tree of Ages not much really going on. And inside the base of Zaz. Outside of it though Sonic knocking on the door. And it looks like a lot of damage will be had. And trying to resurrect or get a Tavern Hero just a little bit too difficult it appears. As the Ancient Protectors of Sonic are going to be able to walk their way up. Moving very very slowly but this has got to be GG. So Zaz, after an impressive long battle in game 1. Unable to... Um, uh, unable to do anything in game 2. And there it goes. There's the two obvious... His strategy didn't work out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this replay between Sonic and Zaz here on Turtle Rock. Stay tuned for Game 3.